If you're confused about all the parts that go into a dental implant and its restoration, you're certainly not alone. And that's because dental implant and its supported restoration is a very complex dental procedure that involves several steps and also a number of parts that are all working together to replace the missing tooth. So in this video, I'm gonna give you a simple rundown of all the parts that go into a dental implant and its restoration. We'll talk about what they are, how they work, and also in what order they should be used. The first part is a dental implant fixture, which is a very small screw-like component that is surgically placed into the jawbone. It's made of titanium or zirconia, which are both quite biocompatible. And this allows them to heal in place and fuse with the jawbone in order to create a very strong and a very stable foundation for the artificial tooth. The second part is the healing abutment. Now this is a temporary component that is used during the implant healing phase. It's attached to the implant fixture after it's been surgically placed. And it's designed to promote the healing of the gum tissue and prepare it for the final restoration. The healing abutment might be placed at the time of implant placement as a single stage or placed later after the implant has been completed with its healing. The healing abutment helps to maintain the space between the implant fixture and the surrounding gum tissue and also it gives access to the restorative dentist during the impression phase at a later time. Now there are two types of healing abutments that we commonly use. The first is called a stock abutment or a stock healing abutment, which is a factory design and fabricated component. It's typically a cylindrical or a conical shape uh, piece that is made of titanium. It protrudes above the gum line just so slightly and is generally left in place for about a few weeks or months to allow the gum tissue to heal around it. The second type of healing abutment is a customized healing abutment, which is made of titanium base and usually some sort of a polymer-like material where it transitions through the gum tissue. Now this is designed and fabricated by the laboratory and it's made in order to guide the gum tissue during the healing to achieve a better simulation of the natural tooth. This is often used in the smile zone, but it can certainly be used on any implant to create a more natural gum tissue shape and also appearance. The process of creating a customized healing abutment begins with taking an impression of the patient's gum tissue using either a dental mold or a digital scanner. The impression is then used to create a model of the patient's mouth, which then helps to guide the fabrication of the custom abutment. The next part is a provisional restoration also referred to as a prototype restoration, which is made of temporary material and mimics the design of the final restoration. It's highly recommended in implants in the smile zone, but it can be used on any implant before going to the final restoration. The prototype restoration really helps to set the gum line, its aesthetics, and also design the bite before the final teeth are made. It also gives patients an opportunity to give feedback on how they like it and make any modifications as necessary. The next important part is called the final abutment. So once the implant fixture has been fully integrated and healed within the jawbone and a healing abutment or a provisional restoration has been in place, the restorative dentist will then capture the implant position by taking either a conventional impression or a digital scan, which is then sent to the laboratory for processing. The lab then designs and fabricates the final abutment, which will support the final prosthetic tooth. Now, while there are stock final abutments that are available, my recommendation is do not use them. Final abutments should always always, always be customized. 
That is if you like to have a tooth that looks good, easy to clean, and also lasts longer. And finally, we have the funnel restoration. This is the artificial tooth that is attached to the abutment and supported in turn by the implant fixture. The funnel restoration is custom made in order to match the size, the shape, and also color of the patient's natural teeth in order to create a very seamless and a natural looking smile. The funnel restoration might be made in form of a single crown if it's for replacement of a single tooth or a bridge if it is for replacement of multiple teeth or perhaps in form of a full arch restoration if it is for replacement of all the teeth. I hope this helps you to put all the parts that we use in implant dentistry in the right place in your mind. And also remember that replacement of a tooth requires both surgical and restorative expertise. So make sure that you have a team of dentists taking care of you, a surgeon who places a dental implant and a restorative dentist who fabricates the tooth, both of them working together and each doing what they do best. I'm Dr. Ryan Kazemi, and see you again soon on our next program.